The following video is not brought to you by Warner Brothers, Legendary Pictures, or Toho Pictures. Warning, this video contains spoilers for Pokemon Detective Pikachu the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this video until you have seen the film for yourself. Hi everyone, Lewis here at My Latest Review. I'm here to do a spoiler review of the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. In the spoiler free video, I talk about how the film was handled very well, how there are references to the games and anime. Now I'm going to talk about the plot and how it compares to the 3DS game it's based on, even though I don't have the actual game itself. The film starts out with Mewtwo escaping from a lab and then a car crash happening after the explosion caused by Mewtwo. Then we cut to Tim Goodman, who's a young insurance salesman and his friend who are out in a field trying to catch a Cubone, which goes terribly wrong. Then Tim gets messages on his phone from an old friend of his father's, Lieutenant Hideo Yoshida of the Rhine City Police Department, informing him about his father dying in the car crash mentioned earlier while investigating a case causing him to head to the city. After talking to Lieutenant Yoshida, Tim heads to his father's apartment where he is greeted by a reporter named Lucy Stevens who is investigating what happened to Tim's father, Harry, and she's accompanied by her side duck. Then Tim finds a mess and a talking Pikachu with a detective hat. Tim accidentally opens a strange vial of a substance called R, which causes some apom to go bananas, chasing him and Pikachu onto the streets. While on the streets, Pikachu tells Tim that he can understand him and no one else can, because when he talks to other humans, he says his name Pikachu. Then afterwards, they lose them and go have some coffee. Then later, they head back to the apartment where we learn that Tim had been living with his grandmother since he was 11 years old after his mother died and his father moved to the city. The R drug leads Tim and Pikachu to a Mr. Mime who they make spill the beans about where the drug came from. This leads to an illegal Pokemon fight club where we discover that Pikachu can't use his attacks due to losing his memory while battling a Charizard. During the battle, the trainer of the Charizard, named Sebastian, accidentally releases the R drug again, causing the Pokemon in attendance to go out of control similar to the Apom earlier in the story. After a Magikarp evolves into a Gyarados ending the battle, Tim is arrested by the police and then tries to convince Lieutenant Yoshida that his father isn't dead but doesn't believe him. Later, Tim and Lucy go to the lab and learn about how the R drug was created by a scientist named Dr. Anne Laurent. It turns out that Mewtwo was recaptured after escaping 20 years earlier in the Kanto region. Pikachu then discovers that he played a role in Mewtwo's escape from the lab. Tim and Pikachu discover that Lucy gets captured by the Greninja that were at the lab as they escape them and some Torterra that were disguised as part of the landscape after using Psyduck's psychic powers. Pikachu is seriously injured and this leads Tim and Lucy to Mewtwo who heals Pikachu and then is captured by Roger Clifford. Pikachu runs away because he thinks he will hurt those he's supposed to help in the end. Then back in Rhine City, the 10th anniversary parade begins. We discover after Tim goes and sees Howard's true colors that the parade is part of a sinister plan of Howard's. Pikachu discovers that Mewtwo wasn't the one who caused the crash, but rather it was the Greninja from the lab that were guilty for trying to kill Harry. Howard was the mastermind behind Mewtwo's capture. The real Roger was discovered to be in the closet of his father's office, and the R drug turns out to be part of the plan to transfer his mind into Mewtwo and fuse people into Pokemon using both the R drug and the powers of Mewtwo. Lucy tries to warn everyone to not let their Pokemon breathe the gas, but it's too late. Like the others, 
she is fused with her side duck. A battle between Pikachu and Howard begins. During the fight, Tim battles a ditto who's been modified to change into humans, which Miss Norman and the fake Roger were disguised at the whole time. The ditto changes into different Pokemon during the fight, and even Lucy. Pikachu regains his attacks and uses Volt Tackle to take on Howard in Mewtwo's body. Tim manages to save the day and saves Mewtwo, who undoes the damage that Howard inflicted to the Pokemon and citizens of Rhyme City. Howard is arrested and Mewtwo tells Tim that his father was with him the whole time as he was fused with Pikachu as he did it to save his life after the injuries he suffered in the crash. Mewtwo separates Harry and Pikachu. The real Roger hires Lucy as a full-time reporter and Tim decides to stay in the city with his father and Pikachu. Here's some differences between the film and the game the movie is based on. First off, Pikachu in the game is similar to Meowth of Team Rocket from the anime, as like Meowth, he learned to talk instead of learning moves and can't use electric attacks. Also, Lucy's a mix of two characters in the game which neither of them had Pokemon of their own. Also, Harry in the movie is fused with Pikachu whereas in the game he is missing throughout the story. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure!